Hello, I'm Nathan Goth here with the Harvard Office for Sustainability. We're Harvard's in-house sustainability experts, advocates, champions. We're uh, leading the way to uh, meet our greenhouse gas reduction goal. The university has set a pretty aggressive goal of reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 30% from 2006 levels by the year 2016. Uh, so campus-wide, we're trying to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And um, this includes offsetting all growth. So we already had 2 million square feet of new buildings that have been built, and we're entire, uh, completely offsetting the emissions from those buildings, as well as reducing the remaining uh, buildings. So it's a pretty ambitious goal, short term, and uh, we're doing that in a number of ways. One of the ways that we're doing that is identifying opportunities within buildings, such as uh, the Phillips Brooks House here. We've uh, done energy audits on a number of Harvard buildings, a few million square feet of buildings, and identified hundreds of opportunities, which um, not only save energy, but usually have a really good financial payback. We try and look at everything in terms of uh, life cycle costing and how much uh, it means to the university, uh, what we get back over the life of the project, not just what we put into it up front, first costs. So uh, this project, for example, is actually uh, really financially attractive. Uh, most of the projects, most of the um, activities that we're doing pay for themselves pretty quickly. So we're using the Phillips Brooks House, uh, not just that we're weatherizing it and that we're doing the energy conservation measures, which we've been doing in a lot of buildings, but we're also using it as a way to engage the students. I'm Gracie, this is Jackson, we're with the Environmental Action Committee. Um, we spent most of January and December running around to tell people, we're going to weather as the PHA building, and we had no idea what that would involve, and a ton of people did, and they stepped up and they made it actually happen. So we just want to really thank them for all the time and energy, and for most of all, making what we really want to see happen. They were the ones who actually made it happen, which is awesome. So thanks to Katie Koga and JJ, who way out of their way to make this wonderful event go together. Uh, thanks to Nathan and the Office for Sustainability and the FAS Green Program. Um, and to all of you guys, because even though you haven't done it yet, you're going to make this stay really cool. So thank you. So we're installing two things, power strips and then uh, timers and water coolers. And what uh, we're hoping to achieve is that water coolers would be turned off when, during unoccupied hours in the building, so ideally between 5 p.m. and 6 a.m. in the morning. Students actually from the Environmental Action Committee approached us, the Office for Sustainability, and asked if we could work together to, um, to do something that allowed students to feel like they were very hands-on and, and participate in the process of, uh, of weatherizing the building. Uh, we constantly remind them that it, they have power to, to reduce emissions, but um, this is a way to, to show them that they can directly have an impact. And then when they uh, continue to occupy this building, they'll uh, have a sense of ownership for the, the efficiency of the building. So this is the uh, Phillips Brooks House. It's named after Reverend Phillips Brooks, who is a Harvard graduate and a, an advocate of social service. Uh, it's built over 100 years ago, and um, it houses the Phillips Brooks House Association, which is a student-run Harvard organization that focuses on community service activities. There are more than 85 programs housed within Phillips Brooks House Association and over 1,400 active members. So the Environmental Action Committee, for example, is, is part of this group. A lot of the student organizations that focus on social service community service are actually part of the larger Phillips Brooks House Association. So this seemed like a great building to uh, start on. Uh, it houses a lot of the people that we work with, a lot of the most uh, um, vocal supporters of sustainability. Uh, it's a very iconic building, everybody's familiar with it. Uh, it gives everybody a sense of ownership and uh, we're going through and we hope to be able to save about nine tons of carbon dioxide annually and about $3,700 uh, worth of utility bills annually by the work that we're doing in here. So today we are uh, caulking and sealing the infiltration gap on 57 of the windows here at the Phillips Brooks House. Um, we are running a smooth bead of caulk along the seam where the storm window meets the wood window jam. 
to prevent infiltration of air, particularly air in the winter months, from moving from the inside of the building to the outside of the building. We are preventing approximately 30 million BTUs of air from transferring through these small cracks, which will save the project about $850 annually, and the minimal expense was approximately $250 to start the project. Um, caulking is a relatively simple task, just takes a little bit of skill and practice in order to complete it. Some of these windows here are uh, in better shape than others. They do have some caulking which was installed initially, but because of the age and um, length of time that the caulk has been in the windows, cracking um, does cause some of that infiltration, so essentially going over the windows again, and some of the larger gaps at the bottom where the storm windows have to be uh, filled completely to prevent that infiltration. In some cases, we have as much as uh, half to an inch of large gap at the bottom in some of these windows especially. So. We've identified 21 energy conservation measures that we're doing right now with students. We have more projects identified that we'd like to come back in and work with the operations staff and hire some outside contractors to do. But right now we're doing about 21 separate projects, some very small, some quite large, uh, all with student labor, sometimes augmented with professionals from facilities maintenance operations. The union plumber and union pipe wrapper uh, are helping us out today. Overall, it's a student-initiated pro program. It's student labor doing the work, and uh, we really hope that afterwards students will take a sense of ownership of not just this building, but the goal campus-wide, which it is the university's goal, and, and we need everybody contributing to get there. Mm -hmm.